Welcome back everyone, I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation, and you have been invited into my living room to have a seat and enjoy another week-long reaction. This week is brought to you by my very good friend, and if I had a brother, would be one of my brothers, Kevin. Dude, look at you, boo! <laughs> you know what that means. No one else does, but you do. Um, what a song to pick. And and you had mentioned the lyrical content. And I, I spent some time just reading the lyrics. And I thought, man, isn't that true? For so many people, it's just so true. And what an iconic song from an iconic group. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it is by The Temptations. And this is actually going to be their performance on the Ed Sullivan Show, their last performance, which took place just a few months before the Ed Sullivan Show went off air for good. So let's give you a little bit of a rundown. So the Temptations were an American vocal group, are an American vocal group from Detroit, Michigan. They were formed in 1961. Apparently, uh, the members were from different uh, doo-wop groups, and they got together and they formed the Temptations. Uh, the song was written by Norman Whitfield, who, is, who worked extensively with The Temptations as a songwriter and producer, and also co-written by Barrett Strong. Those two work, excuse me, work together a lot, from what I understand. All of this information uh, I'm, I'm finding on The Temptations website or Wikipedia, both of those places. Um, it's featured on the 1971 album, Sky's the Limit. This is the third Temptation song to reach number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Five members, Dennis Edwards, who is the lead baritone, Otis Williams, the second tenor, uh, Eddie Kendricks, tenor, Paul Williams, baritone, Melvin Franklin, bass. Those are the five. I believe those are the five that are going to be in this video as well. Uh, and like I said, this is their final performance on the Ed Sullivan Show, January 31st, 1971, a few months after or before the Ed Sullivan show went off air. This is going to be followed by four cover versions. So this is coming out on Monday, September, what, uh, 2nd? Labor Day, right? Yeah, September 2nd, and then 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, you will have more covers of this song, different versions. And then, of course, you will have a poll at the end of the week which will give you the opportunity to vote which was your favorite and tell me a little bit why. So, you guys ready? Here we go. Temptations were their hit recording. Yes! My imagination, gentlemen. Well, I want to make sure I got something down right here. Music. Music. That's the way it goes, folks. I pray, Lord, hear my 
video you know it's yeah I mean this is an iconic song anybody who's who's uh, old enough remembers this song and this is even before my time but uh, not so much before my time that I wouldn't have been exposed to it uh, and, and certainly you know with my parents generation listening to uh, my mom loves Motown um, I definitely am familiar with this one but not the history of it uh, and great view voices, great voices, absolutely. I mean, they've got a lot of accolades in their career, uh, and this is one of the reasons why this song. Now, as far as this lyrical content is, is concerned, when I was reading the lyrics, it struck me that, you know, this is, um, this is sort of a ubiquitous thing that transcends generations. They're talking about this, where he's, he's in love and fantasizing about having this life with this woman um but she doesn't even know he exists and he prays that you know hey maybe one day she'll be mine basically is 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 what it comes down to and how apropos is that to today especially with all the social media the instagram and TikTok and all of that where women are out there just advertising themselves uh in a way that's that's very attractive to men uh, sometimes it's inappropriate stuff you know what I'm saying you know shaking your thing and all of that is just like okay you know a little over the top but there's a lot of amazing beautiful women out there and how many millions of men that are out there that are single that are looking for women um, whether it be online or in real life so to speak you know what I mean um, even even women that you see around in your town that you just don't have the courage to you know to ask out or or maybe maybe you, you you're smitten with but uh, she's taken you know that sort of thing so there's many many different scenarios but that's something that transcends generations it's not a new phenomenon clearly uh, and that's important that's important to to realize that um, sometimes you just can't let your imagination take over. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You gotta learn that balance. But uh, anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on the lyrical content. Good performance, last performance on Ed Sullivan show. Pretty apropos, I would think. Um, and uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say is, yeah, it's a good song. Love this. Love it. All right, we've got uh, four covers coming, so stay tuned each day. Thank you so much for joining me. Kevin, I hope you appreciated this. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I'll talk to you later.